What is Christina Buddy? <laughs> She's amazing. Don't we love Christina Buddy? She's absolutely amazing. My love's amazing. <laughs> what? Christina, did you have the most amazing time with our listening to our story yesterday? What? You were listening so well yesterday. What? Oh, you were thinking about the story yesterday. If you didn't catch our story by loves yesterday, you could check it out right here on our Marple Public Library Facebook page all about Miss Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Check it out. Well, today, my loves, what? We are sharing silliness and goodness because we all love to laugh. Laughing makes us feel so good. And if we can share that silliness with each other, even better. <gasps> and let's give kisses <laughs> to all our loves today, today. Now, Miss Mel thought, hmm, what are we going to read today? The Day the Crayons Came Home. Because we read, over the summer last year, we read The Day the Crayons Quit, which is an amazing book. It's amazing. It's super silly and fun and full of life and love. It's amazing. And this, I was asked to read the sequel, The Day the Crayons Came Home. So Miss Mel is doing it today with Christina, buddy. <laughs> we got our super silly on. Miss Mel needs to get her due done. The struggle is real. <laughs> what? And Miss Christina has her piggy hat on. What? Now, my loves, if you have something super silly to wear during silly time, you don't have to. But if you would like to, you know, feel free to share a picture of your silly goofiness on our comments today underneath our wonderful story time video today so my loves we could see you're silly and you could share your silly with everyone and then everybody else gets silly and laughs and has a good time so who's ready to read the day the crayons came home who loves the day the crayons quit what i love that book and this book is written today by drew daywalt and illustrated by oliver jeffers <clears throat> We got our super silly on the day the crayons came home. Now one day, <clears throat> Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards came in the mail for him. What? Can you read that? Oh my goodness, it says, hello from the rug. <laughs> what? <clears throat> All of a sudden, Duncan dug into these postcards and he read all these postcards one by one. Let's see what they said. These were postcards from all his crayons. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me, but my, na my name is Maroon Crayon. You may have colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. What? Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch when your dad sat on me and broke me in half with his, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, he broke me in half. I never would have survived if it were not for paperclip nursing me. Back to health. I'm finally better. So come get me! Oh my goodness. And can paperclip come too? Because you know what? He really helps in holding me together. Sincerely, your maroon crayon. Maroon crayon. Oh my goodness. Dad sat on him and broke him in half. What? Papa bear. <clears throat> Uh oh, here's another color. What color do we have today? Green. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. We like peas, don't we, Christina? We love peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. What? Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. What? Oh, your crayon, formerly known as pea green. And all these postcards, this is hilarious, my loves. All these postcards are sent to the address, Duncan. Duncan's bedroom's upstairs. This house. <laughs> what? What? Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family a while ago? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? <laughs>
Oh my goodness, he's walking back home from the pool in Florida. Oh, here's our favorite friends, orange and yellow. What happened? Dudes, what happened? Let's see. Duncan, it's us. Yellow and orange. We know we used to argue. Well, over which one of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and, and, and the sun melted us together. What? Now we're really orange yellow. What? You know the real color of the sun? Hot! It's hot! That's what the color of the sun is. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home! Your not-so-sunny friends, yellow and orange. What? Oh, my goodness. What happened to yellow and orange? What color is this, my loves? We got brown. Uh-oh, what happened there? Oh, there's a story to tell there. Dear Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think, I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. What? Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Oh, no. <laughs> because I have. I have been eaten by the dog. And, and, and I'm on the rug now, Duncan. And not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz and crayon now. Can you please, please, please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan or possibly burnt sienna crayon. What? Oh my goodness, this poor crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you like please open the front door, dude? Because I still want to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. There he is, Esteban the Magnificent, formerly known as P. Green. Oh, hi, Duncan. Remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Oh, that wasn't cool. Oh, my goodness. Then we drew the scary stuff on the wall. Sure. It was funny at the time, and he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot me in the basement, dude. Please, come get me. Uh, I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow with the dark crayon. What, dude? Don't be drawing. You scared your little brother? Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, France, I think. What? Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? You're right. See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. <laughs> he's, not, he's not New Jersey. Duncan! Oh my goodness, page, have you ever read page eight of Pirate Island? Does it ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in the pile? Heh. I told you you did make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you that that stupid crayon sharpener never works. Did you listen to that? No. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend. Gold crayon. Oh, no. <gasps> a hole of loot and a bad, bo a bad day for the cabin boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent, formerly known as P. Green. <laughs> what? Oh, now what color is this, my loves? Turquoise. That's a cool color. It's almost a mixture between blue and green. Dear Duncan, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck in your sock. Good question. I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in the pocket and I ended up in the dryer. What? Oh my goodness, did he melt? I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed, dude? What? Phew! Stinky, winky, socky, stocky. Oh, you're a stinky, winky crayon. Turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. What? Be careful, my loves. Don't leave the markers or your crayons in your socks. Dear Mr. Duncan, I'm not sure you're crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but 
I can't take him anymore! What? In the last week alone, he's been the top off the, the, my head, put, put, put me in the uh, cat's nose, draw it on the wall, and try to color garbage with me. Garbage, Duncan! What? That's the worst! It's terrible. Oh my goodness, I can't tell what he's drawing. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? I don't know! Picasso said every child is an artist, but I, I don't know. I don't think he, 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 I don't think you've met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Ah, Big Toddler Crayon. Oh, Neo Crayon is back. Neon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. What? Uh, making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon again. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else is used to color, do they? I didn't think the test of the drawing was great, but did it really need that pink brown scribble down there? Did it really need that, Duncan? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown crayons. Stick to candy bars, Duncan. <laughs> now, Duncan was pretty sad to learn that all of his crayons had been lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them all up together. But Duncan's crayons were also damaged and differently shaped than they used to be so that they no longer fit in the crayon bunks. So Duncan had a cool idea. What was his idea, my loves? Do you know what his idea was? Mm. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. He built a crayon fort. What? How cool of an idea is this, my loves? You can do this at home with the permission of your parents, of course. You know, take some of those boxes for the packages and make a crayon fort. What? This is awesome. What? There's no, some of the crayons said, there's no dogs allowed in this box. No, nope, no turkeys either. Oh no, you flatter me with that on the floor. <laughs> said brown crayon. What? Orange and yellow said, I think that does it for us. <laughs> what? And neon crayon said, and this is Cleveland, right? I got a, I, in Cleveland, I got to, to hike the Great Wall of China. What? No, he didn't. What? In Cleveland? What? That was the day the crayons came home, my loves, by Oliver, by Drew Daywalt and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. That was that awesome or what? Now remember, you can get this this awesome book in Delaware County Libraries. Oh my goodness, for curbside pickup, my loves. Oh my goodness, hello, Alexandra and Edith. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you guys love the wig and the entrance. What? Miss Bell's due today. What? <clears throat> oh my goodness, Susan. Oh, and Aubrey and Gigi. We love you all too. We love you, Edith and Alexandra, Aubrey, Gigi, Susan. What? Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for tuning in today. What? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Did you have a silly a time as Christina Bunny and I did? What? We're going to have even more fun, my loves. Check this out. <clears throat> so today, my loves, you know how Christina Bunny and Miss Mel always do a craft with everyone after our story time. Well, today we have the link for a craft right up as we always do in our Facebook video feed. Click on that link and it's inspired by buggyandbuddy.com and they're awesome. And they created this amazing, amazing craft for us today. And it really sparks our imagination because Christina Bunny and I got to do this and fill in the word bubbles, like in our story, with what our crayons would say. Hmm. So, <coughs> think about it. If your crayons had a voice, like in Duncan's story, what would they say? They would say something cool. They would say something funny. What would they say? So, you know what we did? Now, you're going to use scissors for this, my loves. Your, your parents are going to help you cut this out today with parent supervision. We have our crayons here that talk. And we took this. Now, you can find, Miss Mel almost forgot, you can find this template in our link today. Click on the link. And under materials, it says free printable. So you want to click on that red, mark free printables, and you can print this off from home. <clears throat> 
we took our crayon box, we cut out those crayons, and they all said a little something in our crayon box. So let's read what they said today. Christina and Buddy, I were like, what would a crayon say if a crayon could talk? We let our imaginations run wild, my loves. Let your imagination run wild. What? Okay, so our green crayon said, I love that you use me to color leaves and grass and maybe a dinosaur. We, we used the inspiration for some of these from Buggy and Buddy and what they did, but we added to some of them. So let's see. Our, our red crayon said, I'm not an angry color. I'm really not. <laughs> now, our blue crayon, as you notice, is a half a blue crayon, like our crayon in our story time today. And he said, dude, I'm not a nub. <laughs> That was a good that was a good one. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi. And then our yellow crayon said, Orange, you're the best. And our orange crayon said, Yellow, you're amazing. We gave some compliments, throw some compliments to orange and yellow crayon. And then our purple crayon said, Just once, I like to color a dinosaur. Just once. <laughs> So we took a box of crayons, and you could use tape, my loves, or, well, if you feel you want to use glue, go ahead if you want them to stay on. Oh, Christopher, Jackie, I'm glad you guys love the book. Oh, awesome. Big boxes with crayons and markers. That is great. I love that you love doing that. So this is a cool activity you guys can think about and expand your imagination even more today. So have fun. And remember... <clears throat> You can get this template right in the link we shared today in our video Facebook feed, my loves. So this is a great story in itself, my loves. Miss Mel always loves to encourage you when you use that your imagination and let it run wild, you can create stories of your very own. And we created, I think, a story right here. And I cannot wait, either can Christina Bunny, to see what you create in your stories today. So if you do this craft today too, my loves, Please share that love with every one of our friends out there and our family of all the things you created in your story today and some of the things you said in your word bubbles. So have fun, my loves. Decorate that crayon box. Create a story of your own. Maybe, like in our story today, you can create a crayon fort like Duncan did for his crayons. What? How amazing was that? That's a two crafts Two crafts today. What? That's amazing. <laughs> so my loves have a super silly time. We've so much had so much fun with you today. And we can't wait for tomorrow for our next silly story. So get ready. We have an awesome story tomorrow. And a great craft for you tomorrow too, my loves. Have a great day. We can't wait to see what you share from your story today. Bye, my loves. We love you all. <laughs>